This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends and welcome to BISPtrainings.com. My name is Neeraj and today I am going to teach you how do you write file combiner utility using Python Panda library and glob. So let me explain you what is the business requirement. I receive multiple data file from my business user and in order to do any kind of analysis, the, the bottom line is that I need to massage, transform and clean data and combine multiple files into a single file so that we can do analysis. However, the number of multi number of source file come from various sources, I, we do not know in advance. So we want to write a dynamic method through which we can read multiple files and combine them and create a one file. So in my business, we have been using multiple ERP system. We wanted to write a method through which we can read data from multiple ERP system. My account controller extracts so data from multiple source file. We massage data, transform data by using various technique, which I taught you in my previous video. And finally, we want to combine this. The number of files come from various sources is not known. It may be 10, 15, 20, subject to the number of transactions take place across different entities. However, because we do not know in advance how many files will, will arrive to my system, therefore we write dynamic file combiner utility. We combine these files and write it back into a single file. And eventually we apply various analytical algorithm and data visualization techniques to visualize the data. This is the requirement. Okay, let me show you sample data file. So this is my sample data file and all the file which my business user extract from ERB put into one common folder. I kept it over here, but they use a shared location. Let me open one of the file and show you how it look like. So this is my sample data file, which is typically a sales order processing data with a separator or delimiter as a pipe. So each data file contain data from one legal entities or one statutory entities. So if you look at both the files together, you find in Quickly differentiate this. File one contain data for USA. File two contains data for Australia. But when I do analysis across my multiple entities, I need to combine them. So I'm going to write a Python code for the same. Let me give you a quick brief how the code look like, and then I write this code practically and I show you how step by step the code will execute. We'll do a dry run. So we use a object over here and apply a library called pandas library and glob library. Glob library we would be using over here to traverse through or search file. Then I declare a variable called path. All the files I'm reading from this path. And glob function I use to search all CSE file in which 10, 15, 20. These CSE file would be stored in my array variable called all files. Okay, so if there are 10 files, my array variable would contain 10 records or 10 index value, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Okay. And then finally, once you read all the files, we want to browse through all the files and combine them. So I create a dynamic array because I do not know how many files are there in advance. So I create a dynamic array and I'll browse through all the files from an array, all files, 0 to n number of files. So I use a loop over here with another variable I use file underscore because file is a reserve keyword. Therefore, I use file underscore. So it is same as like if I run this in terms of constant number of time and I know in advance there are four files. So I write like this zero, two, three. As we do not know how many times this loop works, therefore I use all files. Then we keep reading this file by using read CSV. We are reading first file. I do not want index header over here. Therefore we, therefore, we use header zero and index column none. We have a separator as pipe. So I use pipe delimiter. You look at your data file, it's a pipe delimiter. Okay, you differentiate one record to another record by using pipe. You read all the files one by one, and, and I use array function called append. So I keep appending all file names. So if there are three files, it keep appending all the files. And finally, we concate all this file by using concate function from Panda. And you can concatenate them by using horizontal or vertical. I want to concatenate them by vertical. Therefore, I use access zero. Okay. Also, I do not want index, so I use index index. Ignore index equals to true. 
Finally, all the output which you receive from different file, I want to write it right back to one file name as all files okay, or all data. Let's get started. So let me check. I got two source file. I would be using Panda Python library. I would be using spider ID. Uh, it is fairly easy to use and you are free to use any ID you would like to use. I would recommend to use Python spider ID. Okay. So step one, you like to bring or inherit your package, Panda package or GLO package. So step one, we import GLO, which search the file and import Panda. And I create an object for this PD. Then I'm going to create a variable through which I read all the files. So this is a path where my all file exists. This is a string variable which contain all the files. The next, I like to read, search all the files. So there's a glog function which help you to search. What file you want to search where? So the argument is path. Under this path, I like to search all CSV files, all right? Wildcard character or CSV. It means it read all the files. And the output of all these files is capped into a, you know, into a folder I name it as a variable called all files, right? So it will store in all files. Finally, I like to create a an array, a dynamic array, because we do not know in advance how many files are there. I create a dynamic array with unknown index value. It may be 2, 10, 15, 10, 20, and number of array. Then I browse through all the file one by one. So I use file variable because file is reserve keyword. Therefore, I use file underscore in all files. Right? That's the beauty of using ID. If you skip something, it automatically recommend you the options and help you in correcting the syntax. Now let's read all file one by one. So in order to read this file, I use panda object dot read CSV. These are all CSV files. Or I read CSV. Read CSV takes multiple arguments. In our case, we want to specify the file you want to read. I want to read file variable file underscore. And I'll be passing two arguments over here called index column. I do not want index column, therefore I write none. And I also do not want header. So I put header over here. So the delimiter is or separator is pipe. Therefore, you explicitly define pipe separator, right? So you read all the objects one by one. Then I would append these into an array. So I use append function and it takes an object as an argument. I append them one by one. The, no, finally, you have a list of all object. Now I'm going to write this into my CSV file. I append concatenate them and write them into CSV file. So I create a temporary variable called frame. It's like a data frame. Object panda object pd concat. When you concat, the first argument needs an object. So which object you want to write? I want to write an array object because you can add vertical or horizontal. This you can define through access argument. I use access zero. And I also want to ignore index. I do not want index. I am going to show it to you how it looks like without index. The Boolean value. That's it. You read in a frame and finally I want to write it back to one text file. So I can use pd dot to csv. Right. But what do you want to write? I want to write frame. So I write frame to CSV, specify the path where you want to write the file plus the file name. I want to put this as all files dot CSV. All file combine and write it back into one, one file. It can be 2, 10, 20, 50, n number of files. And I don't need to define this in advance. So let's save this called file combiner.
and run it. And you would have value of all the variable one by one if there is no syntax error. If there is no syntax error, let's read all the variable value. First variable value is path, which is fairly straightforward, is a string which shows a folder where all file exist. Second variable is all file. It would have list of all files used in a given folder. The list of all the files. The first file is Australian sales order processing data. Second file is USA sales order processing data. Right. So you have got Australia and USA. Two file sales order processing data. Then you have a dynamic variable called ARR. It would have a combined list of all the files. Or it's a data frame collection. So first data frame is for Australia, all the columns, and second data frame is for USA, right? You've got two frames, and eventually you want to combine them. So you, you array would append them, and then we combine them with DF object. So you write concatenate them through frame. Frame would have integrated value for Australia and USA. It's an integrated value for Australia and USA. So you combine them into one object. Last step, you write this data into one CSV file. Right? So this is one data, all files, which is integrated value of both of them. We can test this once again. So what I'm going to do now, once again, I'm going to execute this, remove this file, and copy a couple of CSV files and see what happens. So I copy one or two more files. Probably you don't have a meaningful output, but I just wanted to show you how this code works. So previous instance, you have got only two CSV files. Now you have three CSV files. I just change the country name. We have data for Australia and USA. I just apply, replace this country from Australia to New Zealand. So I use find option and replace it. Australia, I use one, two, zero, three, New Zealand. So now I got three files. In a similar fashion, you can add four, five, six, seven, as many files as you want. Okay. I save this and close it. So I got three files. Now the integrated, the output which I supposed to get it. It should be some of all the four files. So this is my New Zealand data. And Z. Right? Let's run this code. You can run this code from here or you can run this code directly from your folder structure. So from your file system. As you see, these files are stored under C drive, Python, lib. I did not set the preference, path preference. Therefore, it is still exists under this folder. So if you just double click this, all these files got combined and turns out to be one file. It executed, all file combined and it turns out to be one single file. Right, this is the all file. It's a combination of all CSV files. So therefore, my code is dynamic and it has no difference how many source files you have in your system. So now we have data for Australia, we have data for New Zealand, we have data for USA and so on. So that's it. It's a small tiny code, but create it is highly useful code when you are massaging your data and you're working in a file system. Thank you for joining today's session. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel. In a subsequent session, I'm going to show you how do you write the perform the same task by parameterize and creating user interface. You can log into our site, BHP training and BHP solutions.com. Thank you.